in a Chevy were like 10 years like the show. Oh yeah, that's where she's coming from. How does this come off? Okay, so there's really no clear instructions in the manual from what I found to take this off. Um, people, some people are saying you got to take the transmission apart to get it off and change the seal and what have you. Um, and all the other videos on YouTube are for different design assemblies. So I had trouble getting this off. So basically, you just take that shift cable off and uh, with the cotter pin and this. Uh, 10 mil uh, bolt with a little uh, safety uh, lock gears on it. You got to get the uh, screwdriver to bend those back. You have to catch it with the tip of a blade screwdriver and a little hammer. Bend those back. Get that 10 mil bolt off. And so that's the easy part. Now getting this off was like trying to figure out how to do that was a little tricky because you don't want to <laughs> break anything. There's no safety. This is like all riveted on these joints. There's no cotter pins or anything around here. So then this doesn't come out from what I see. I don't know. Probably from the inside. So to get this out, I used a piece of wood. This is just a paint mixing stick. Okay, to put it on the back side because this aluminum is soft. You don't want to mess that up. And a medium pry bar and just kind of like gently pry that off and you'll have to move it around and manipulate it a little bit so it's like stretched out and it's stretched position just like kind of let it go where it wants to go and don't fight it you don't need to go super heme in on it because you don't want to mess anything up here but it came off pretty semi easily doing that just take your time and don't fight it and it came, came off. Now we're going to get this seal off. Well, they're going to use a pick tool to get that out. And put the new one in. There it is. The straight one. The straight pick seemed to be best. These other ones kind of bent. <laughs> These husky. Let's clean it, wipe it. Let's take it, compare it to the replacement ones we got. Okay, so I have two brands of seals here. ADP, which is actually made in the USA and this Timkin, Timkin, I'm probably saying that all wrong, but this one's made in Taiwan and they are different. So the old one has like more, hard to see here, it has more lips on the inside and this EDP one is very similar to the original one and this this is not not so much this would probably work but uh, the ADP one seems seems a lot better seems very close to OEM standards so we're gonna use this one and I'm gonna lube it up with use uh, some silicone grease use a uh, Transmission fluid. You can lube it up with transmission fluid, I suppose, which, which would be okay. And this came with some. Uh, this is an old seal kit. I crankshaft uh, camshaft crankshaft seal kit that came with some grease too. I could use that, which looks like this. I'll probably I'll probably use that. Um, use silicone grease. Lube the outer di uh, circumference and the inner circumference.
Okay, got it all back on. 10 mil. Put the little put that little piece on there. And you gotta bend back those ears with the little pliers. It's gonna like so it doesn't move. I put a little blue uh, thread uh, Loctite on there. Put this on with that pin. That lip of that backing plate of the pin goes right there. Cotter pin. And the cable should fit in there. Put the cover on. Three uh, 12 mils. Should be good.